Welcome to my CS5 tutorial number seven. It's titled Drag Race at the Lights. I'm going to show you the end result of four tutorials and it'll be seven, eight, nine, and ten. And when you finish them, you'll be able to have this little drag race game. There's the layout. These are the lights. We press this button, the lights will start to move, and when the green light comes on, press it again to win the race. The first time I'm going to do it, I'm going to press it prematurely so the blue jumped the lights and the blue will lose. So here go the lights. And blue went too fast before the green light actually came on, so he loses. This time when I test it, I'm going to wait till the green light comes on and blue will press and I'll press the button and blue should win the race so there goes the lights there you go and oh I wasn't fast enough so red red one I wasn't quick enough on the on the draw ah blue one so you can see it's a quite a little game we're going to start by opening the Flash CS5 program. I have the Flash program open and I'm going to start a new document. Action Script 3. The width of the stage I want to set to 700. We'll set the frame rate for now at 20 and we'll OK. We're going to call this layer car c a r red r e d and select frame one i'm going to just pull this timeline up a little bit i'm going to go down to 20 50 percent to get some perspective and i want to draw a car so i'm going to have a black stroke and a red fill pick up my pencil tool nothing fancy at all just a relatively straight line and some kind of ninja bonnet in the hood. That's my car. Uh, pick up the fill bucket. That makes it red. I'm going to go up to around a hundred so I can see it better. Pick up my oval tool. Click that little rec little arrow in the corner. Oval tool. Going to hold down the shift button and make a wheel. There it is. While it's highlighted, use my arrow keys, toggle it in place, make another, hold my shift down, make another wheel. While it's selected, toggle it up using my arrow keys. There's my red car. Clicking off to this, picking up my selection tool. I got to click off to the side so nothing selected. Selecting it all, all of it. Come up to Modify, Convert to Symbol, and I'm going to call it a Graphic. And I'm going to call it Car, C-A-R-R-E-D, underscore G-R-P for Graphic. I'm going to lock that layer. Insert a new layer, call it Car Blue. C-A-R-B-L-U-E. Select the first frame and draw something relatively similar. Make sure my fill here is blue. Pick up my pencil. Draw a line. This is a little more fancier car than the first one. Pick up my fill bucket. Fill it in. Grab my oval tool. Shift button down. Make a wheel. While it's highlight, use my arrow keys and put it up in place. Shift button down. Make another wheel. Same thing, use the arrow keys, put it up in place. Grab my selection tool, highlight it. Go up to modify. Oops, I see something here, get rid of that. Go up to modify. 
select my blue car go up to modify convert to symbol graphics already selected car blue C A R B L U E underscore G R P for graphic and lock that layer select the car blue layer insert a layer and call it button B U T T O N select frame one pull this up again and up here again let's go down to 50 percent somewhere up in here using your oval tool or rectangle tool whichever you choose pick up a stroke color make an oval up here while it's highlighted go up to modify convert to symbol this time make it a button call it B U T T O N button underscore B T N while it's highlighted open the properties panel and it's an instance of button and I want to give it an instance name because I'm going to write code on it B U T T O N button one in case there ever is a button two underscore M C so that's this button right there lock that layer insert another layer and call it action script a s there's not a whole lot of action script in this series when the, uh, for these racing cars select frame one my action panel is here it's docked here if not you'll pick it up here in their actions and I'm going to type in this code First, it's a stop, S T O P, open, close bracket, semicolon, and that's the button instance we just named, capital B U T T O N, one underscore B T N, period. Add event listener, all one word, small a, capital E, capital L. If you spell it right, it turns blue. Open bracket, most event, capital M, capital E, period capital C L I C K if you spell it right it's blue comma and this is the name of our choice and I'm going to call it the start S T A R T close bracket semicolon that is the program listening for us to start this function and here's where this function starts function F U N C T I O N this start is the same as that start so you can cut and copy and paste bracket it's an event colon mouse event G you can copy this mouse event and paste it down there close bracket colon void means not to send some information back somewhere while you're typing this these two curly brackets may come up if they do we can use them if not open curly bracket go to and play small g small t capital a capital p bracket to close bracket semicolon close curly bracket when we hit this button it's going to take us to frame number two let's go back to our timeline let's select the buttons layer insert a layer and call it lines l i n e s select frame one grab your line tool and right in front of these two cars draw a line just a straight line come over here close to the end draw another straight line pick up your text tool put a text box in here open your properties panel make sure it's static text and somewhere around 20 I got 18 points that's what I'm going to use right in change this color to a more of a purplish color or something right start s t a r t pick up your selection tool put it down here in place grab your text tool again come over to the end here 
keeping the same font and size, write finish. F I N I S H. Pick up your selection tool and you may want to move that a little bit there. Lock all layers. While your lines layer is selected, insert another layer. Call it lights. L I G H T S, lights. Select frame one. I'm going to keep pulling this up. And pick up your oval tool. Make sure you have a red fill, black stroke, and right about here, make a small circle. Hold your shift down. There it is. While it's selected, come up here, convert it to a graphic, and call it light, L I G H T, red, R E D, underscore G R P graphic. Pick up your selection tool, get the crosshairs on your cursor, right click, copy, come back down, paste in place, use your arrow key and tab up a little bit. Paste in place again, tab up a little bit. Open your alignment panel here or if you have it here open your alignment panel go back select those open your alignment panel and right here you've seen how that gives makes them even and that puts them even that way make sure this align to stage was not selected click off the side pick up your oval tool again and put one more here it can be a bit larger oops undo that pick up a green fill your oval tool again and make one more circle here and it can be slightly larger pick up your selection tool select them all and I'm just going to tab mine down a bit so they're on my stage click on the first one oh, go, go back to that one there up to modify convert to symbol and this is a light l i g h t green g r e e n underscore g r p graphic select the bottom one the red one open your properties panel this color effects right here open it up under style pick up alpha and Make the alpha somewhere around 28 or 30. Mine's already done. You just move this bar. If 21 is good for me. Click on this one. Go to the alpha again, and it will be 21. Go to this one. Select the alpha. It'll be 21. Go to this one. Select the alpha. And now they're all done for us. Close that panel. Select on frame 10 of the lights. Right click, insert a keyframe. Come down here, click off the stage. Select that first light, open the properties panel. Take the alpha up to 100. Go to frame 20, insert a keyframe. Select on the second one, bring that alpha up to 100. If you pull this arrow over like this red, click on this red and pull it over. Right click on frame 30, insert a keyframe. Select the third light, bring its alpha up to 100. Select on 40, insert a keyframe. Pick the green one, bring its alpha up to 100 and insert a keyframe on 50. Close your properties panel. I want now to select the lines, the button, the car blue, the car red, 
like that and insert keyframes. Let's give this a quick test. Control, test movie, test. We have an error. Something to do with button one. All right, and let's see what it is. Back to the timeline. There's the button. Go back to frame one. Unlock that button's layer. Select that button. Look in the properties panel. Ah, it's I got it labeled wrong. It should be button BTN. Okay, close that. Now let's test it again. And I don't see anything back there. There's my lines. If I hit this, that's gonna those lights will start to light. One, two, three, and the green. Okay, that's as much as we're doing for this tutorial. I want to keep them short. The follow-up to this will be CS5 Tutorial 8. It'll be titled Drag Race Jump the Lights. Make sure you save this FLA if you plan on doing the Tutorial 8 because that's where we'll start from. I hope you learned something from this tutorial and I hope you use what you learn.